Hey, good day, family. Welcome to day two of our love revolution, the ineffable love uh, edition. Today is day two, and we are in season 8.08. Good years of just reflection and just um, enjoying, as, as my brother loves to say, indulging in the love of God. Um, we're taking these times of prior to Easter to reflect on um, the love of God. And this year, we just we we just looking at the ineffable love and uh, i started to uh, try to define it i know my brother fred will come in and uh, give do much justice to it when he comes god willing tomorrow but uh, ineffable one of the meanings of it is is something that is so great so overwhelming that even human beings cannot find words to articulate and today i'll be speaking briefly on the overwhelming love father we thank you so much for this opportunity you've given us to just pause and reflect on who you are you are love you are agape you, you love us so much that i mean you you wouldn't you wouldn't leave us in the hands of the enemy even in our death you you find ways and means because of your love and because of the richness and the greatness of your power to come through and orchestrate schemes so that we can have deliverance. For that, I want to say thank you in Jesus' name. So briefly, I was just reflecting on, on the ineffable love of God and on the extent to which God will go to demonstrate his love to us, to, to us, his people. And I have a couple of scriptures. Um, in Hebrews chapter 7, verse 24, Bible says that, but because Jesus lives forever, his priesthood lasts forever therefore he is able once and forever or he's able to deliver us from the outermost so it, it, it doesn't matter how far we've gone with him there is no lost cause and, and that's what i love like like i mean human beings would have called me a lost cause but but not god whatever it had to take for him to give me deliverance he he was willing to pay that price and the same i, I see a reflection in the life of israel i mean god loved them i mean they made a mess of their life they went in captivity in zephaniah chapter 3 verse verse 17 bible says the lord your god is with you some verses is within you it says that the mighty war is the mighty warrior who saves and he takes great delight in you and in his love he will no longer rebuke you but will rejoice over you with singing now these are people who had messed up and gone into captivity you would think that you bring them up and whip them out for just bringing them no he said that i'm bringing you out and i'll be singing over you i'll be rejoicing over you it reminds me of the song that a young man wrote brilliantly about the over overwhelming uh, love of God that sometimes might look a, a little bit reckless. That before, before I spoke a word, you were singing over me. The Lord is singing, rejoicing over us. That's that's the extent to which He loves you and I so much. And I, I want you to take time this time and realize that there is because of His love, there is nothing in your life that is a lost cause. He is able to save to the uttermost. Think about it. That is our our um, action plan for today. Just reflect in your life. Any area, I want somebody to, to take the Lord up on a challenge these 40 days that we are reflecting on His love. And let His love that we share about apply in certain areas of life and begin to allow God to begin to saturate. Father, we thank you for this moment. And I thank you for my life, for my children. I pray for parents who, who have children who are in different phases in their life. And Father, because of, of your evil love, which you have turned into a covenant, that you're going to save us and our children. I pray specifically, O oh God, for parents and children, O oh God. A father, by your hand and your power, this 40 days, let us see deliverance from the uttermost. Children who are bound in many things that men have said is impossible. Just as you brought Israel out and you sang over them. Father, bring us, our children, our loved ones out and let them be singing and rejoicing. In Jesus' name, somebody shout amen, amen. Second action point, share with somebody else. Get ready. Tell them the journey is on. God, by his ineffable love, is bringing redemption and deliverance. Have a wonderful day. See you same time tomorrow as my brother Fred comes in. Bye-bye.